Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great circuit strength training workout you can do in your home with very minimal equipment, very minimal space, and easy to follow directions. Come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up, get your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement, and your mindset ready for movement. Okay, today we're going to need a little bit heavier tube set up high, medium, medium tube set up about chest or hip height, a little ball to play catch with, and a kettlebell or a dumbbell or something like that. Okay, so we're going to start with a lat pull down today. So I'm going to sit on the floor. If you have vaulted ceilings and a place to wrap around a band, that's great. I don't, so I have it wrapped um, through the top of my door. And I'll just sit on the ground, pull your arms, your shoulders down and back to start. We're going to pull straight to your armpits here, squeezing those shoulder blades down and back. Working those large muscles, your latissimus dorsi, in your back. When you go up, don't let your shoulders go up. Keep your tummy nice and tight, sitting nice and tall. It's really common, I see, to people doing this exercise to kind of pull like this. And you're pulling down because it's maybe a little bit too hard. Pull back. You're working your large back muscles here. And 10, good. Okay, now we're gonna do a split stance squat. So getting your feet nice and wide, lengthwise, so um, far apart, and you're gonna go straight down. So I've got a kettlebell in my opposite hand, like I talk about a lot, keeping it in the hand that's opposite of your support. You can also do this like at your kitchen counter. Um, try to go down, just straight down. You're keeping this knee back. You want to keep your knee back over your ankle, weight in your heel. And then as you go to stand up, think about squeezing that front leg, squeezing that glute. Now we're going to switch sides. So I'm going to turn around just in case I need that support. <clears throat> if you do turn around, make sure you put the opposite foot out front. It doesn't matter if you hold the weight in either hand with your foot out front. Just keep it so that you switch and that you have that one hand for support if you need it. Remember, your body's just going straight down. Keeping your knee back, your weight in your heel. You can always do a smaller range of motion if you need to. And 10. All right, good. Okay, now I've got my tube about chest height and hip height here. Ooh, we'll raise it up just a little bit. We're going to do some side twists. So I just have one handle on here with the tube doubled up. Again, shoulders down and back to start. I'm going to do a nice wide stance, athletic stance, knees and hips bent, tummy engaged, glutes and quads engaged. And we're going to switch and pull side to side. Now my arms are pretty straight. Really working the core here. I'm kind of switching my weight a little bit side to side as I go. Keep breathing. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, good. I like that one a lot. Okay, now we're gonna do some punches. So again, start with a nice wide base of support. And we're gonna punch diagonally. So we're gonna go up and across and then down and across. So you can kind of start with that. Tummy tight, shoulders down. You can control how hard you're punching, especially if you've never done this before. But as you get more accustomed to it, try to give it a good jab. <sighs> Working on power for those muscles and joints. <sighs> and 10. All right, the next time you go through these, Start with your opposite side, and then the following time, start down, and then up. Or somehow mix it up so that you're 
starting a little bit differently, you're working your brain a little bit differently, the muscles get a little bit different work as well. Okay, now I've got this tiny little ball here. We're gonna try to stand, you could do either a staggered stance, a tandem stance, or a single leg stance, okay? So, you're gonna have time for 30 seconds here. Now, first, to start off with, you could start small. That's the easiest. You could look off into the distance and just play catch small. If you need a little more challenge, watch that ball. Make it a little bit bigger. Challenge where you're throwing it. Now, if you're working out with someone, you guys can play catch. Or you could bounce it up a, a wall to really challenge yourself. Let's switch. Now, make sure when you're doing these balance exercises that there's nothing around you that if you do lose your balance and you take a step, that you're not going to step on a dumbbell or, you know, even a bear band, anything. You want to make sure that around you is clear for obvious reasons. We don't want to fall, hurt yourself. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just keep going. And rest, good. That's a really challenging one, but it's kind of fun too. Put my ball over here so I don't step on it. All right, the last one, we're gonna lower down to the floor and do a plank. So you can do these either on the side of your bed, up on the side of a bench, um, even on like a kitchen chair with a pillow, or you can do them on the floor. Then also you can do them with your hands straight or with your elbows. So any one of those combinations is great. Just challenge yourself. Maybe do it differently than you did it the last time. Now, we're gonna pull up into that plank and we're gonna do tiny little marches. Now, actually, the smaller the better. And I always say, do a quiet march. Try to do it so you're controlling it. Try to keep your hips down, don't get up here. Now, if the marching becomes too difficult, just hold it. And also, if you're here, and you need a little break, put one knee down. You can kind of tailor it to your needs. And rest. Great job. Go through these one or two more times. Add a little cardio, get that heart rate kicked up a little bit, and then follow with a good cool down and stretch. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to leave a message in the comment or reach out privately. Have a great workout. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.